and um, also these tomato plants they fell over and I'll need to put them back up these fell over so I gotta put them up I don't know if that's been eaten so I see him I see him I see him right there you crazy he eating oh my goodness good gracious Yeah, I'll see him right there. There he go. He is eating that leaf. Living his best life. Enjoy what you get right now. Because you getting ready to say goodnight to the people. I don't know if he's the only one, but see how that's been eaten up. And then back there, that one's. I hope he's the only one, because I don't feel like digging through all this. Good morning YouTube, this is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. Uh, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I would like to welcome you. And if you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back again. I am um, out of my garden. I have not been coming out here this week because it had been hot and I was just so burnt out. But, uh, That's the irrigation turning off. I heard something and I thought, oh Lord, let me get from my head. But um, everything is really grown up. The tomatoes back here, they have, they fell over. And I got to put them back up. <laughs> and um, there's a hornworm. The tops of, tops of these plants are eat up. And so there is a hornworm. And there is another one that's over here too. On the cherry tomatoes. So that's what I got to do right now is look for that hornworm. And I see him. I see him over there. I see him. But I don't know. If he's the main one, but I see him over there. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> and um, also, these tomato plants, they fell over and I'll need to put them back up. These fell over, so I gotta put them up. I don't know if that's been eaten so I see him I see him I see him right there you crazy he eating oh my goodness good gracious they also see him right there there he go he is eating that leaf living his best life enjoy what you get right now because you getting ready to say good night to the people and I don't know if he's the only one but See how that's been eaten up. And then back there, that one's. I hope he's the only one, because I don't feel like digging through all this. <sighs> and 
and then this joker over here. See right there, the little white things, white things that's all over him. I think that, oh, there he is, right, he's right there. Got them white things on him. I don't know if those are eggs or what they are. But, uh, see, this is eating up. This is eating up. And that is eating up. I feel like it is another one because that is poop all over that tomato. So he probably pooped that out when he ate all. Oh, yeah. There you are. There you are. Okay, let's get busy. I don't know if you all can see, but it is uh, hornworm poop all over the ground down there. I mean, that's just not droppings or something from plants that is hornworm poop <laughs> now I'll be telling y'all better go check on your garden and then what do I do don't go check on my garden and um, the hornworms came in okay so I went in the house and got some, I got this Ziploc bag. It ain't no new one, it's an old one. But this whole one where they gonna go in this. Cause I, I mean, he just eating, come here, come right on here. Oh Lord, I, okay. There he go. Go ahead and finish that leaf if you want to. But you will not be eating anymore in just a few minutes. Okay, so let me go over here. I don't want to get my tripod in this boo-boo down here. I don't want to step in it either. Okay, so let me just go over here and get this little joker too. These ants are making their way over here. Okay, so I don't like, I don't want to get run across another one trying to get that one. This one is a baby. Where is he? Come on, now. I know you ain't. I know you over here. <sighs> These plants are falling over. Oh, there go a little bitty one. Yeah, itty bitty. Oh, worm. I'm not using this red Reuben basil anymore. I'm not growing it. I'm not growing it anymore. Where did I see that home? Where am I? Can't even find him now. 
Okay, he's right there. Is it boo boo? I don't know. Okay. There he is. I don't know if you all can see it. But he's on there. He's got all those little white things on him. But I'm going to put him in here. Okay, I'm going to try and get up here. And, um, get these things down. I'm going to try and get that little baby one first. Come on. Come on. He holding on tight. Oof. Gosh. All that stuff all over my hand. My glove. I probably should just go ahead and take all this stuff out of here. This one has blossom and rot. Here's a big fat black worm. Oh, where did he go? They don't hold on tight like the horn worms do. I'm going to scoot you back so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Who was that I was watching the other day? And they said, you can have your plans of what you're going out to do in the garden. And when you get to the garden, you're met with other things that take up all your time. These tomato plants, big as they are, they are, they are pulling down on this conduit pipe. <laughs> but it's not, I'm sh sure that it would be worse if it was um, that PVC, they would have been down on the ground if that had been that PVC. It's tomatoes. These went in late and they are pretty and green and I need to kind of prune them. I do that when I get back today. Yes. I've got to get, I've got to harvest this stuff. These tomatoes are taking off. They are really doing well. And I don't know what they all are. But I gotta get in here and prune because there's some that are leaves that are really low there. But I harvested one off of that 
last week and it was a uh, pretty good tomato but over here I think there is a Paul Robeson I'm gonna go ahead and get it this plant well, this is hard okay you all so I'm gonna these are the paste tomatoes the orange icicle that don't look so good I'm gonna sit him down it looks like these are on their way out and that's fine with me they have produced a lot I mean this is San Marzano and they no bigger than them ones I just harvested cherry tomatoes but I have gotten some big ones so I really shouldn't complain It rained last week. I haven't been out here since it rained. And there's still some green ones out here. I made in there to them. I ain't taking that in the house. I gotta hurry you all because I know my sister's waiting on me. Wanting to go because she came out early and watered. And, um,. I've been over there fooling with those cherry tomatoes, those hornworms. Down low, they look bad, but they are flowering up top. Probably when we get back, I'm going to take these peas out. These plants are just making little ones. Ooh, these leaf footed bugs. These things are tall, you all. These peas over here, my sister planted, they look good. I gotta get the weed eater in here. These peas we need to take out. But there are no aphids on them. No aphids. They're just dead. <laughs> Dying. See, it's sweet basil out here, and there are no hornworms. And there are no hornworms. These are healthy. Up top, whew, 
They are beautiful. And then this yarrow. Oh, it was over there. I think my sister proper took it out. But um, bad as that look, there are no hornworms. I mean, there, there are no aphids. See, that look bad. <laughs> but it is no aphids on them. Okay, I'm going to check. Peppers, bell peppers. And this is a red lesia. Still a little green there, but it's it's a red lesia. If you leave them on long enough, they will turn red. some lilac back there but they have not they're still turning okay let's check this okra this is the 16 inch long pod I ain't waiting on these to get 16 inches I'm gonna go ahead and harvest them These are my sister's peas. She put those in. We took the green beans out and she planted these peas. And um, they're doing well. I need to fertilize them with some 01010. But they are doing well. These we will have to take out. I mean, they got green beans on them. I mean, um, peas on them. We'll take those off. And um, we're going to take them out. And as I said, as bad as they look, there are no aphids on them. See, this is still green. It probably still would produce if we left them. But we just want to take them out. I think next year... The Clemson spineless is all I'm going to plant. Because the Burmese, they taste fine. My sister, she don't like the slime. <laughs> but she says she thinks she likes the Clemson spineless better. Because they just taste better. And so... They tell me that the slime is the good taste. It's the taste. And she rather deal with the slime in the Clemson Spineless than to grow the Burmese again without the slime. Because the Clemson Spineless tastes better. This is a Burmese. It has these little bumps, knots all over them. But they are not supposed to be much slimy inside. So, and it produced well. They, they this variety produced well. But when you are, have a limited space, just plant what you like. Plant what you like the best. I'll let you all see these um, flowers. That's more okra. Get it. And you all, these things are like little trees I right hear. Get the rest of them when I go around the corner.
see that? That is a pretty flower. That is a beautiful flower right there. I mean, there's flowers all out here. Right there. There. And there's one there. Right there is one. And there's one somewhere. I can't see it's so bright out here. But it's a lot of flowers. So once you start to see flowers, you know, look at all of this that's growing. There's a lot of them over here growing. Something brought this melon over here and ate it and scattered seeds out. I don't know what did that. Okay, so I'm just gonna come down through here and check and make sure There are no hornworms on these tomato plants. All the tops seem to look fine. I think. Let me see what this is. This is a carbon tomato plant and it's several. I'll take them all while they're green. I'm gonna split. They stayed out here in that rain last week. Oh, it's boo boo on here. And it probably come from the worm that ate that. Ooh, I got to look good. I, um, I don't see what they've eaten though. But I um, pruned these pretty good last week and I'm glad I did. Well, it probably was the week before. Maybe it was last week. And um, I got all the I made it more airy. But these are carbon. There he is. He's in there. He's in there. Get him. He's right there. Eating his way out. You dummy. Come here. Well, just say goodnight to the people. I ain't got time. He didn't get too far. Okay, there ain't no hornworm in here. It was just him.
I don't know if I'm going to get me a black beauty, you all. All these tomatoes are still just green. This plant, I probably should take it out. It's the Kellogg's breakfast. These are cucumbers. Go ahead and get all these off. And there's flowers on here. And there's fruit coming. <laughs> These uh, zinnias my sister got back here. Uh, doing their job. Bringing in the pollinators. That's what you got to do. You got to plant a lot of flowers to bring in your pollinators so they will pollinate your food and you can get get food you can grow food these beans we got a lot off but these sunflowers whew, they're huge and there's bees all up there This is cucumbers. So I'm gonna move on down to the melons. That's what I really come out here for. Okay, you all, so I'm getting ready to head out here. <laughs> so, here we go. I see some busted melons and those are those little ones that I saw them the last time I was out here but I didn't get them because they weren't that big yet but I probably should have came back the next day to get them but let me just go over here and get this and it's busted wide open. But it ain't, I don't think it's been eaten into. No, nothing ate into it. I gotta get this out. Before they draw something. And see, the rest of these are green. They ain't pulling away from the stem. They are not ready, but I see some other stuff over here that is ready, and I'm going to get it, and it's going to be easier if I leave the camera right here.
I just don't know about this. I need to do more. Looks like I want to leave it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them. This kind of look, I'm fixing to get him. Oh, you just popped off. Just popped off the vine. I wish I could just walk across there. Let me just see it right there. This one's not ready. I bet you he ready. A great big old frog. Woof. Ooh, you are a great day. This watermelon is so big. It's so huge. But I believe he can stay. <laughs> Big as he is. This one too. Just gonna let them stay. Because they're just not ready. All of these over here, they just, they look good. They're just not ready. Okay, you all, so I am, um, there's some paper out there in the field, in the uh, yard. I am going to go in. I, um, I'm going to show you my harvest. I didn't get any watermelons. Um, the honeydew melons are still needing a little more time or two, I think. But I did get one cantaloupe, and as I was bringing it out, um, the camera got too hot and shut off. <laughs> so, but I'm going to show you my harvest. And then I'm going to go in. So... This is uh, cucumbers, and these are carbon tomatoes, and down under there are okra, 16 inch long pot, Louisiana 16 inch long pot, and the um, Burmese and crimson spine, spineless. This is a, a red bell pepper. I didn't let it get totally red, but it was on its way. This one is a um, lesia. It's a red lesia. It's fine. It's just still green there. And then I have these cherry tomatoes. This one is a Paul Robeson. And then I have all these um, paste tomatoes. And I have this honey, um, this sugar cube cantaloupe. I wanted to show you all this uh, soil. It started to collapse. This is where the, the uh, bed has separated from the soil. And the soil collapsed. It's collapsing down. 
but um, uh, I don't know. I might get another season, another summer out of them. I don't know. But I think I'll be replacing these. I'll just see. But that's that's how that looks. And it's all back there. It's all down through here. So that's it. I am going to go on in the house and I'll be back out here this afternoon because um, there's things I need to do. And some cleanup. I need to spray. I want to put BT on some stuff. And um, I'll just see what I get into. It is, um, the camera is, is hot. <laughs> it's not even really that hot. It's not humid. That's what it is. It's not as humid, but um, it's it's hot. And I'm going to. How um, much? I'll see how it is when I come back from farmers market, and um, I might come back out here. But if I do, you know, I'll bring the camera and bring you all along. But um, these little jokers right here. They are in there. I could hear them. They were making little sounds. Get this away from me. They in there. It is a, a black caterpillar and two baby hornworms and uh, two big fat hornworms. And um, I think. I planted the red Reuben basil and it's a Thai basil that I also planted this year. And I always just plant sweet basil and Genovese basil. And they have probably over the last two to three years, I've only seen maybe three hornworms. This year, I didn't plant as much sweet basil didn't plant as much uh, Genovese and got all this Thai basil, got all this uh, red Reuben basil and it is hornworms everywhere. It, they're not on these paste tomatoes. It's holy basil I hear. It's Genovese, that look like Genovese and holy basil. I think this is Genovese. And I think that's Genovese. And that's holy basil. And they are strong. I smell them. Uh, it's holy basil all in these pots. This right over here, that is a sweet basil. Because it has a big leaves. Genovese is kind of, um, have kind of small leaves. So that's it. I am leaving. I've got to go. I know my sister. She hollered across the yard. Do you need any help? And, uh, I need to go. Because we need to go to the farmer's market before they sell out of everything. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not already, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload content. So you all stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.